Welcome back to Bloom. More than ever, people today are saturated with a constant stream of media and societal pressure related to body image. The media and social media have created a world that makes people believe their self-worth is solely based on their outward appearance. Joining us today is Dr. Tanya Bandina, a plastic surgeon, to discuss self-love. Welcome to Bloom, doctor. Hi, and so happy to be here because you uh, have all the reason that people think just the image is important. And I'm here to tell all of you it's not. The most important thing is to love yourself. And that light that you have inside will blow out your outside world. You're right. And I mean, I know when we hear this deep down inside as women, we know that it really needs to start love on the inside, but gosh, Dr. Medina, it is so hard. You see the pictures, you constantly comparing yourself. I mean, I'm guilty of it myself. It's totally true. I have so much patience that came here with a picture of Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, uh, all their favorite actress that want to be like her. And I always tell him that my patients, no, you're not going to be like somebody else. You're just going to be the best version of yourself. And we try here in our practice to help patients from inside outside. My practice is divided in two. First, they got psychological and mental support with our team. And then when they love themselves and the self-esteem is good, then we go through the process of plexi surgery. It cannot be the other way because it will be not worth it. Because even though you're beautiful and perfect outside, if you don't feel good with yourself, you're not going to be happy. That is so healthy that you and your practice have that approach because a lot of times you read, even after multiple plastic surgeries, you know, people are still broken on the inside. So you need to fix the inside first before you turn to what's on the outside. So I have to ask you, you know, you mentioned the, you know, some of your younger patients coming in with pictures of, you know, Kim Kardashian or J-Lo. What are some common concerns that you hear from young adults that come in for plastic surgery the first concern is that they want a bigger body uh, before like in the 80s everybody wants big breasts because of Pamela Anderson but now JLo and Kim Kardashian uh, you know put in the in it put here uh, everybody wants now butts that's the first concern and they come here uh, not because they want a big butt most of the time they come here because what common things I hear, uh, my husband shit on me and I wanted to see what he lost, what a woman he lost. And that's not right because you cannot do plastic surgery because somebody else, you have to do the plastic surgery because you love yourself, you have said what you are and then by self-love and acceptation, you can go forward and change anything, any part of your body. You can put your hair red, uh, green or any kind of color you want. You can tan yourself, you can do anything, even though plastic surgery, but have to be first, you have to love you the way you are. And love is not uh, that you're gonna abandon yourself. No, it's that I have said me, I have said why I am, what I am, and then go forward doing any change, a spiritual, mental, or physical that I want. That, that really is such great advice. And I do have to say, doctor, I'm laughing at the uh, women wanting big butts. I, I grew up in the 80s and I've been lunging my way through life trying to get rid of my big butt. And I have four daughters that are like, thanks for the big butt, Jean, mom. We really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's- They're so happy that, that, that your jeans are they like are, big butts. You know, they're here so happy. in the Caribbean, all of us have big butts. <laughs> and you know, because we come from, in Dominican Republic, our descent is from Africa, Spain, and all that. So we have all big bugs. <laughs> so, so we're all in vogue right now. So that, that is good to hear. Well, I, I just have to say, you know, how refreshing, again, I think it is that a plastic surgeon who could just easily take the money and do the surgery really focuses on the mental wealth and health being, uh, well-being of their patients before treatment. So, doctor, thank you so much for joining us on Bloom.